Hi guys. Okay, so we're gonna talk about the dailies, daily task sheet. Um, so it's in the link that this video is in. Is there? There's an actual picture, so you can save it. You could print it off if you choose to. You can do whatever you want. Um, but it's just a really good system to look at, to know what you're doing, to know what you should be doing every single day. Okay. So every single day, do I do this entire sheet? No, I don't. <laughs> okay. If I am doing like a 30 day run and I'm going to dedicate my time and myself to this sheet, then yes. But like on a regular daily working basis, I don't fill the sheet out completely every single day, but it's always good to keep in mind the things that you need to be doing. And then you can also see in your business, like, where you're lacking. So if you haven't sponsored somebody in a month, well, you should go look at your daily task sheet and be like, hmm, I can clearly see that I haven't been asking people. <laughs> it's usually a basic thing. Um, so basically it, uh, over here, it's your posts that like post ideas. Do you have to follow this? No, you don't. It's just very general, okay? Um, ideas for you to post daily. So there's inspirational, goes hand in hand with motivational. Family, personal, um, unique product post, interactive, like an engagement post. And let me tell you, this is just my personal opinion on engagement posts. I love them, they're great. And yes, you should be doing them every single day because it boosts your Facebook algorithm. So all of this stuff has a purpose. But what I don't like is when people put up, I call them dumb, because I'm a nice person, I promise you. Um, but like dumb like engagement posts like which house do you like a or b and I'm just like I don't like it I don't like those or like hamburgers or hot dogs I think that's such a waste of an engagement post um, you know I love when I can post a picture of something that is in my life so I post a picture of my daughter with like this ginormous headband on her head and I was like do you guys love headbands that are bigger than your baby's head or is that a big no? Like that was an engagement post because then it kind of went hand in hand with my life too. So I really like those kinds of things, not hamburgers or hot dogs. What is this math quiz? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> totally up to you. <laughs> um, so then, yeah, it goes down to like interest, unique opportunity. And again, when posting about the unique opportunity, please don't say join my team. Nobody wants to join your team. They want to join for themselves. What is it that they are looking for in their life? What is that problem? Now go solve it. Go figure it out, okay? What was your problem in life? Go solve it. Did you not have friends? And then, oh my goodness, you realize that there's like hundreds of us in here that are like, we love you, <laughs> okay? Did you love, so like, did you love the sisterhood? Talk about that. If like, share your struggles, share your story, and then share what you found. Um, did you, were you broke? Me. Were you not able to buy diapers for your daughter? A necessity that's a need. Um, and you couldn't afford that. And so you're like, if I can't afford this, something has to change. So then I started. Those stories, those are opportunity posts. All right. Okay. Um, and then there's like 20 comments. I do this every single day because it, again, boosts your Facebook algorithm. It boosts your reach. Um, very, very important to do. I just comment on 20 people's things. And what's even better is if you can ask a question. So like, oh my goodness, that's so cute. Where'd you get it? And then they respond back. That boosts your alg algorithm even more. Um, and Facebook algorithm is who's seeing your stuff. Because chances are, if you're brand new, you've never thought about what friends are seeing your posts, right? You probably never thought about it. Um, but Facebook doesn't show your posts and your videos to everybody on your friends list. They don't. Unless it's valuable content and people want to see it. So by doing this, people are going to get to know you and like you and trust you and come see your stuff more. Okay? <laughs> um, I send out my happy birthday messages every morning. It's a voice clip that says, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Anyways, um, if you use Instagram, Instagram posts daily. Um, and then it says post and parties. 
Um, add 10 friends on Facebook. You can do this any way you want. Um, you can go into suggested friends. Um, I would definitely check to see if they're not already a unique presenter. You don't really want to be adding unique presenters all the time. Um, you could go into like your local mom group, make a post, say something funny in there, engage, interact with the commenters, and you make friends. Um, you, you, you could do a lot of things. Parties, parties are big. You can do epic events, you can do affiliate links, you can do whatever your little heart desires. Um, and then yeah, team member check-ins, if you don't have team members, use this time to get team members um, to do your opportunity messages, 10 a day. Um, now do I do 10 a day every single day? No I don't, so don't feel bad if you don't like fill this out every single day. This is not your worth, it is just ideas of things that should be done every day, okay? Um, relationship building messages, what are those, right? Um, what I do is because I'm adding 10 people a day, right? I make sure I write their names down. Um, I, I message them and I just say, hey, like, thanks so much for accepting my friend request. I love connecting with people. I noticed that you had kids too. How old are they? They look so cute. Like things like that, you know, or if I'm in like a real time crunch because we live the uplifting, validating and empowering life. Um, sometimes I'll just send like a quick message of like, Hey, you know what? I just want to let you know that I think you're amazing. And, and I've been following your profile for a little bit and I just thought I'd let you know today. Like that's it. Um, relationship building messages. So that's kind of like that idea. Um, thank you messages. It says thank you messages on here. What are those? Thank you messages are you go to your profile, everybody who commented, liked, whatever they did to your video or and posts in that day, send them all a message. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Um, you are just the best. Thank you so much on my post. Thank you so much for your support on my post. <laughs> or else I'm like, what? <laughs> on my post or on my video or thank you so much for your comment on my video. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. I, like, you're the best. Okay, uplifting, empowering lifestyle. That needs to be like my new slogan or something. Um, weekly event focus. This I don't generally fill out because I just don't have time. Because <laughs> like I know who my hostesses are. I don't need to put them on a piece of paper because I have other options and notes in my phone. Um, but basically this is just keep in mind like who are your affiliate linked people? Who are your epic event hostesses? Um, things like that. Um, but yeah, I don't really use that section. Um, and then it says personal development. Aim to watch, listen, or read at least 10 minutes of personal development every day. Don't forget to put into action. Because you can be a professional learner, but get nowhere. Because <laughs> you didn't do the stuff. So you can sit here and watch all these videos and have it all up here, but you don't actually do anything with these. You got nothing. <laughs> okay? Take what you learn, implement it right away. Okay, you got 24 hours to implement. I heard that somewhere. Apparently it's something to do with your brain or else you're not gonna do it at all. Scary. Okay, <laughs> um, and then at the very, very bottom it says live video. Oh my gosh, please go live. Please go live. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. I know so many new presenters are so afraid to go live, but guess what? You're not gonna die. Okay, in the back of your brain, I think it's in the back, something, there's like this fear, amygdala. I don't know, Deb Erickson can explain it for you far better. Look her up, Deb Erickson, I can institute, brilliant mind, mind coach. Um, but anyways, this fear amygdala or something, we have to calm it down. You can use breathing techniques or, or I'll, sh I'll show you, I'll show you some techniques um, to calm that down because it's, your instinct of saying like, danger, danger, you're gonna die. <laughs> and so then we shut down and we don't wanna do it, right? So it kind of takes us back to like caveman days. Um, but we don't live in that day and age anymore and doing a live video is not gonna threaten your life. Um, it may bring you massive anxiety, trust me, I know. Um, it may make you see black spots. <laughs> may make you break out in hives on your chest. <laughs> Move forward and do it because you are stronger than that. You are stronger, okay? You're stronger than your obstacles because you can jump over them. 
And I know you can because I believe 100% in you. And if you don't believe in yourself, that's fine. That's fine for right now because you need to know that I believe that you can do it. So take that and go. Go do it. <laughs> okay? Um, anyways, fear things. So you can do, you can do breathing. You can slow your brain down and be like, I can do this. Um, you can do, I can, I will, I am. I can do this, I will do this, I am gonna do this. Or she says, like, I can, I can do this, I will, or I am powerful. Anyways, it's something like that. I need to refresh my brain on that. And then you go, yes! And then you say it faster, I can, I will, I am, yes, I can, I will, I am, yes, I can, I will, and yell it! Yes! And then you go do it. <laughs> okay, or, um, oh, wait. oh, it's like this breathing technique where you go, <laughs> It's really silly. Trust me, just do it. You're gonna feel like a complete moron. <laughs> it was great fun. Um, but those breathing techniques will, will really help you and then chanting the, and doing this will get your brain in line. It all came from Deb Erickson because I think she's crazy. Um, she's a great brain coach and she's all about like neuroscience and all that stuff. Anyways, um, but that's it for you in this little piece of paper. It'll be in this, once you go back to that link that your sponsor sent you, it'll be in there so you can just hit like put your thumb over it, hit copy, and then you can, or save it, not copy, yeah, okay, <laughs> making sense, um, but I hope that was helpful, is there anything else, oh, interact on interest pages, um, what that means is that you can go to pages that are of your interest and comment on them, um, you can also add a few people from them if you choose, um, but just commenting on them, it puts your name out there as well, um, but I think I got everything, Post in interest groups. I didn't post in interest groups. Um, again, that's like posting in your mom group. Or what are you interested? Are you Christian? Are you a knitter? Are you a soccer mom? Are you into pink stuff? I don't know. There's a group for it though, okay? Go join a group and post in it valuable content every day. I don't do it every day because sometimes I can't think of something to post. <laughs> so, but I try to, <laughs> okay? Um, so these are just, you know, good practices to do every single day. Okay, bye guys.